almost every casino and club in Atlantic City. In 2016, she earned uh, the title Atlantic City Weekly Nightlife Award for Best Comedian. All right, she opened for the Reverend Bob Levy, Johnny Sanchez, and from Mad TV, from Mad TV, and the Ladies of Laughter winner, Dina Blizzard. So let's let her hear it, Michelle Tomko. <laughs> Listen up and you'll say the same thing that I said on the night I lost my virginity. Best five minutes of my life. No, seriously, it's happening right now. I, I live in fear, actually, this time of year because it's wedding season. I loathe wedding season because I get asked to be in a lot of weddings. And it's not really because I'm close to any of the brides. Uh, I get asked to be in a lot of weddings because uh, the brides put me in it to make them look thin. And I don't think that's polite. I don't, I don't like that at all. No, worst wedding I was in, I was in my brother's wedding. Okay, first of all, he married this girl named Margie. Her name was Margie. That's weird, right? I mean, normally a Margaret, they go by Margie if they shorten it, right? I don't know if this is a nickname that she picked up in gym class or like where <laughs> she would have got this name. But anyway, the outfits that Margie put us in were just criminal. Okay, first of all, the bottom of the dress was yards and yards and yards of this white netting stuff. It's called tulle, okay? That's easy to remember because you look like a tulle when you wear it, okay? So white on the bottom and on the top we had black velvet three-quarter princess sleeves, yes. Okay, so you have to picture this. First of all, I was the smallest person in the bridal party, okay? And we like, we basically looked like a pot of orcas going down the aisle, just, here comes the bride, all dressed in white. Like, everyone knew we looked ridiculous. I mean, even if, if we had any shape left to us at all, she made us wear white tights and black patent leather shoes. That's what I'm, it's crazy. I mean, the minister actually had a silver pail of fish that he threw to us when we got to the altar there. It was, everyone knew we looked ridiculous, except my mom, who had the cardboard camera, cardboard camera following me down the aisle going, ch -ch, so pretty, ch -ch, so pretty. I, I hate weddings though, I hate, I hate clothes in general. It's like, do I look okay, do I look, I don't never know what to wear to these things. I don't, like the sizes have gotten so weird. Do you remember when it used to just be small, medium, and large, boom. Like there's all these weird sizes now. I went shopping the other day, I pull out a pair of pants, says size 16 petite. How the hell can you be a size 16 petite? What is that? I pulled a blouse and I, 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 size XO. There's a hug kiss size. Who wears that? I don't know who that's supposed to be for. I don't even understand. Like the men are laughing too, but don't laugh because no one's ever walked into a big and tall because they were tall. I just want to tell all the men here now. Okay, nobody's done that, no. There's a mall store, Chico's, it's a store for ladies. They have a strange sizing system too. They have sizes zero, one, two, and three, which makes you think like, okay, they only cater to women who are size zero, one, two, and three. But that's not what that's for. It's not what it's for. What it's for is for women who are a size 16 petite so that they can come bursting out of the dressing room going, oh my God, I'm swimming in this. Do you have it in a two? That's that's how Chico stays in business. No, that's how they stay in business, people. Serious. Let me tell you a store that does not cater to big girls, okay? Victoria's Secret. Victoria's Secret is very tough on a big busted gal. Like, the minute you walk in, I just feel like the Incredible Hulk when I walk in there. Me need bra panties. Me need bra panties coupon. Like, that's how I feel when I go in there and you're always greeted by these little women, like Chico Zeros, right? With the little headsets on, right? They have headsets. I don't know why they have those. Like, like there's a NASCAR track in the stock room or something. <laughs> you're greeted by the headsets. I'm like, why are they wearing these headsets? And then I figured it out. I figured it out. They wear the headsets for when a big busted gal walks in there, they can call for backup. That's what it's for. Code double D, code double D, sector four, all units respond. That's what it's for. No, I know this is true because of how they store the bras. They store the bras in the back in what I like to call the Bureau of Shame, okay? <laughs> they put the bras in these beautiful bureaus at the back wall of the store in descending size order, okay? So the first customer comes in, hi, welcome to Victoria's Secret, I'm a 34A. They pull out the top drawer, they snap out a little pink set number with a Svarsky crystal in the middle, a little bow. <laughs> 
off she scampers. Second, customer comes in, maybe she's a 36B, snap out a little calico number, bow in the center, Sforsky crystal. My drawer is one of those Sterilite containers that you keep in the garage with like the racquetball rackets and the cleats. Takes a couple of the headsets to unfurl the thing. My bow's like the bow that's on top of the Lexus at Christmas time in the commercials. I hate clothes shopping, but I love you guys. Thanks for supporting live comedy. I'm Michelle Tomko. Thank you.